Hi everyone, Damien Fate here and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. I'm just chilling out in my gorilla here. Uh, what's that? You don't have a gorilla? Well, that's because the gorilla is one of several hidden characters, creatures, and vehicles that are available inside the game, but you cannot collect them yourself. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to Neil of RockRaidersUnited.com uh, for the tip on how to do this. I've just presented it in a more easy to follow tutorial. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to your LEGO Worlds installation folder, which is usually uh, in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, LEGO Worlds folder, and find the game.dat file. Now we want to make a copy of that, but usually I just go ahead and uh, rename it. So I'm just going to say backup. Okay, the second thing you need to do is download a program called Quick BMS. Now you may have downloaded this in the past if you ever tried to do the first person perspective tutorial that I uh, put out a few weeks ago. Uh, but if not, there's a link in the description to this program. The next file you need to download is the ttgames.bms file. Again, a link in the description below. Go ahead and put that in the same folder as the Quick BMS program. Now you need to drag and drop the ttgames.bms file onto the quickbms.exe and then go to your LEGO Worlds installation folder and find the game backup. Hit open and it will extract all the files to this folder. It does take a while, so give it some time. After all the files are extracted, you can navigate to the, cars, the characters folder, which is C-H-A-R-S, in here. Okay, in here there is a collection.txt file. When you open this up, it will look a little bit different from this because I have the modified version right now. Just make sure that the file is there and that you can find it. The next step is to download uh, a collection of collection texts. Um, these are collection old, collection first, collection uh, second official, and second complete. So the first thing you want to do is uh, load LEGO Worlds and just make sure that it works. Since you've gone ahead and changed the game.dat and extracted it all. You want to make sure that the game still works. So do that. Close the game. Now open up one of the collection files which I have in the, the link below the zip file and uh, open collection first. Select all. Copy it. Then go to the original collection.txt file. Select all and paste. This replaces all of the original text file with the new one. Now what you need to do is load up LEGO Worlds after saving the collection.txt file. When you get inside the game you'll realize that uh, you have nothing unlocked anymore, at least as far as the characters, creatures, and vehicles are concerned. If that's worked, then go ahead, save the game, exit out again, and then come back to this characters folder, the CHARS folder, and open up either the second official.txt or the second complete.txt. Now the difference between these two is the official.txt file only unlocks items in the game currently that you can find uh, just by exploring. So that's a good way to not get some of these extra items if you don't want those because they can be glitchy. Uh, if you want the complete uh, selection of files then go ahead and use the second complete.txt. Same again, just select all, copy, go to the collection.txt, select all, and paste to replace it. Save that file and load up LEGO Worlds once more, and hopefully you've got everything unlocked. Okay, if you've managed to load LEGO Worlds successfully after all those changes, go ahead and check out the Characters, Creatures, or Vehicles tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Creatures here, and you'll see that there are some that don't have any icons. Well, that's because they're not in the game officially yet. Uh, but go ahead and spawn one and see what happens. They have a giraffe. <laughs> Isn't that great? And they work pretty well. I don't think there's uh, too many issues, but they may crash your game, so be very careful with that. Uh, obviously, I'm not responsible for any crashes that may occur, and that's why you you did a backup of the game.dat file and the, uh, the save files beforehand. Anyway, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!